Welcome back to Baker Town, guys. Today we are doing our very first Game Builder Garage tutorial video on how to make your very own horror game today. Um, we're using that a game called Viviette as an example. It's that game we've been playing. Also, you can use a put a mouse USB in the switch thing to make like a little to make the mouse move around as your cursor but we're gonna use this one first you're gonna want to go to characters and select ufo make sure on you're on overhead should have z right there and x here basically right here see so like right here where you're not gonna want to be where you can't do anything with this you're gonna wanna go up here where you can actually like, you know, do stuff with it. Now, we are going to get a uh, camera and connect that to the UFO. I mean, a game screen, not a camera. And it'll show up exactly like this. Now we're going to make a basic movement. This isn't gonna be all for the video. And then you just get the left, right. And we're doing an overhead thing because Viviad is kind of like in an overhead game and that's the game we're using as an example for this and since we have the 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 game screen connected to the ufo it does this now if now if you don't really want to make a horror game but you want to use like a movement like this you can absolutely do this and that's that's fine but we're but we're gonna sh right now we're gonna show you how to make basically an animation for like the footsteps right now you're gonna want to um i was just looking at the tv to make sure i because like face cam is blocking some parts. Uh, right now you're gonna wanna make sure you can't see the UFO, so make sure it's set to invisible. Then we're gonna grab our texture node in. And let's connect it to that. And then let's get a counter. You get a counter and then this is what we're gonna be using for the animation. You don't want it counting up by uh, one. You basically want it counting up by uh, point 0.10. I'm gonna use point 0.05 for this one. So, so like, it'll be easier, like, if you use .05, it'll look, look more like you're walking in a horror game because you can like, because like, you know, like they, the animation is more slower than just going like, you know. Um, oh, and we want it set to equals. And you wanna make sure this is set to bounce in two because if it goes to bounce if you have it on bounce it'll go to uh, we're gonna have three frames so if it's on bounce it'll go to frame one two three then back to two then back to one but if it's on loop it'll just go to one two three one two three like that basically so we're gonna want three comparisons this one will be here 
Three comparisons right here. Actually, no, we don't want this. We want, you don't want it. We need a digitize. And then we, that's what we connect the, that's what we connect the comparisons to. Connect it to the digitize. Hang on. You, you want to get the, we're not gonna use this just yet, but you wanna make sure the in, the top inputs are set to this. When this, so, so this one to zero. And when that's, so when that's set to zero, so when that comparison is equal to zero, it will do that basically, it will show frame one. And when it's at one, it'll show frame two. And when it's at two, it'll show frame three. Now we're gonna, st now this texture here will be frame one. Actually, no, we don't want that. We need to get an and. So when, Now we're gonna not, not gonna take the time to have like a whole direction thing cut. So we're just gonna have like one animation, but we're gonna have a turning speed like right there. You see it right there. So then it'll the the character will like rotate around where it's moving. It'll basically look the same thing. Now you just connect that to that basically. Now you're gonna wanna get a stick movement for from the L and make it, make sure it's set to any if you're doing what, if you're following this tutorial exactly how it's, how it is. Now there. Now this will be our first frame. Now you're gonna wanna have it zoomed in for this one. Now we're gonna basically be using these boxes as our things. So a nine pixel thing would be one pixel for the thing we're using. So then you're, I'm gonna get fill and then it's gonna fill that in with white. It's gonna look like a little, it's gonna look like a little shoe. And right there, it's like we have one leg. Now this is gonna be like where a space where like in between the legs will be. gonna make this part of the leg a little bit shorter. Mm -hmm. 
So let's just let's just do this. And you're gonna want the texture face to be set to Y center. Cause at the end we're gonna have the world set to pitch black and we're gonna wanna be able to see our character. Now remember, the texture doesn't have to look perfect, but you can make it look however you want. Now we're gonna have, this will be the third frame, but here, here's the thing. Now you just flip this and it'll be the second frame, watch. second frame, the very frame in the middle, There, there, watch.
um, this is, you don't have to make it look like this, but this is how I'm having mine look. Now, let's get a knot note in so we can make it look like when he's just standing, it will, um, it will, when you're not moving any of the left stick, it will make it look like he's standing. And there, now let's make it, we're gonna make it play a sound. When, when, now we're gonna make it play a sound when we uh, take a step on, on the animate, or like when the animate, when the first and third pr frame go. Now we're gonna have at, at ball. There's our walking animation. And that's most of it done, or not most of it, some of it, technically. Now we're gonna make a part where you have to get the lantern, where you have to get a lantern so you can turn it on. Like to, you have to get a lantern, kind of like in, like basically as your source of light. No, 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 no. A rocket. I'm gonna use a rocket because it looks somewhat like a lantern, and we're gonna put it right here. First, we're gonna have to move our lantern right. I wanna have like just the edge poking out. So it looks kinda like a, a little button poking out of the ground. Then you get a touch sensor. And here's what you'll do. You make it to where you can only sense the UFO and make sure the, it's, the sensor is on top of it since we have the, the object kind of in the ground. And we should, hang on. And then you get an and note in. Let's make the fancy object destructible because we destroy object. Oh, and let's make it to where it can't play the sound when it, it breaks. So when you do that and you press A, then what that will do is it'll break the fancy object and it'll let you turn on your lantern. Make 
rockets where we can only break the rocket. And then watch. And then we're gonna make that turn on a flag. And when the flag is on, Press Y, which will be the button for our flash for our um, lantern. That will turn another flag on, which will be the flag for our lantern. So when the when the flag is on, and that and that flag is on, and Y is pressed. Then that'll turn the flag off. And when the flag is on, it will. No. It, it, there will be a light. Or a light will turn on. And it will be the effect node in. I'm going to use the effect node in. And make sure the connection point is set to is set to Z negative Z negative. Oh, and make sure it's at the maximum allowed thing, like uh, uh, size, and connect that to the UFO. is on it'll trigger go to trigger from zero and make sure it's at <laughs> that'll play a sound is set to two. And make sure you go to funny and pick explosion. is set to on press. And while the flag is on, it'll play a sound and it's gonna and the sound will be set to loop. Or it'll be a loop sound. So go to ambience and choose flames. A 
and then when this and has an input, I'm gonna have it play a sound. Um, an ambient sound. And we're gonna have it be at a pitch of, see what pitch one will be. Let's try pitch two. Yeah, that's a good sound. So, now what we're gonna do is have lights set to a constant of, of, of lights that are always on and those will lead to the lantern basically. That light will lead to the lantern. Because why we're doing this is we're gonna have the world set to pitch black. Like where it is. That's basically how you act, and uh, yeah, actually, basically, yeah, that's basically how you make an um, uh, horror game in Game of the Garage. Bye.